Well, hello and welcome to Introduction to Ethics. Um, my name is Matthew Johnston. I'm the professor here. Um, one second. Well, never mind. It's a little dark in here, but I, I assume you can see me. Um, anyhow, um, I'm going to go over the course syllabus first, and which, we, which importantly includes the requirements for the course. Uh, so let's just walk through this. Um, so this is ethics, moral, you know, morals. Um, I use those terms pretty much interchangeably. Morality and ethics are pretty much the same thing. Um, uh, so this course critically examines questions of value and obligation. We explore the theories of uh, ethical theories, including Kant and Mill and some others. Kant and Mill are kind of the most uh, popular, I guess you could say, most adhered to philosophies in ethics. Um, then we apply the ethical theories to case studies in medical ethics and environmental ethics. Okay, so this course is much is a, is a lot about critical thinking and writing skills. Um, you have to write papers, um, three in particular, three papers. You will be evaluated for English composition to some extent in this class. It's not an English class, but it does count in some in some schools. It counts for an English one C requirement, meaning I have to grade for your English skills in that case, since it does count. All right. Uh, so learning outcomes uh, to reflect on and organize the various strands of thought of the great ethical thinkers, improve your ability to, criti to think critically, uh, um, I should say on ethical positions. Oh, no, apply to ethical positions, sorry. Um, improve your ability to express and evaluate written and oral argumentation. All right, you know what, I'll pause for just a moment here on that. Um, there are, there's, philosophy is not the only way to approach ethics. I'm well aware of that fact. Um, I mean, certainly m morality and ethics comes up all over the place in your life. Um, one particular thing I like is fiction. Uh, I think fiction, does, you know, works of fiction actually uh, can communicate uh, ethical viewpoints very well. Um, we are, however, this is a philosophy class, so we're taking a particular approach to ethics here. And that approach is um, the critical thinking approach. So argumentation, that is to say, people will argue their side. And when I say argue, I mean like lawyers argue in a court kind of argue, not, you know, not a shouting match argue, but like lawyers would argue a case. And people present their arguments one side and the other in support of the theories or their positions on the, on the, um, on the subject matter. And that's just, that's, so that's what we're doing, okay? It, it, you gotta pay particular attention to your critical thinking skills and your argue, uh, arguing abilities. And well, follow the people's arguments that are making the, the, the points they're making and what, what uh, what reasons they're giving and what proof they're giving. That's, that's how you evaluate uh, the merits of, their, uh, of the positions that they're taking in this class. That's how it's done. All right, to think through the problem of ethical value um, by applying it to your life. Um, I guess a quick note here is that a lot of philosophy is kind of esoteric and uh, which basically means not really applicable to, <laughs> I mean, it's really, you know, uh, metaphysics and epistemology are very, which I, is my other class, very interesting, and they'll really uh, enlighten you to uh, new ways of thinking about the world and um, kind of expand your mind, I guess you would say, but not, not a, they don't have direct op application. Ethics does, because it's about how you're supposed to act, what you're supposed to do, how you're supposed to decide what's right and wrong in particular situations. It's, it is, this is applied 
um, or meant to be applied uh, to your actual life. Okay, learning outcomes, they make me put this on here. Students will critically analyze and argue for a particular position on a contemporary moral problem. Students will apply ethical theories to a particular problem. Students should thoroughly explain the ethical theories, how the theories can be used to resolve the issue. All right, whatever. Um, like I said, that, that's a federal requirement on that. All right, so let's go on to this. So um, course information, my name's Matthew Johnston. Like I said, I am the full-time philosophy instructor Sorry. at Mission College. Um, I've been teaching uh, philosophy for, for 25 years or so, a freaking long time. Um, I just put my phone number here for my office, which I never, uh, yeah, we're, all, we're, off, we're online and off campus. Don't, don't use that unless you are completely, have no other, nothing else you could do. <laughs> my email, this is the most, this is the best email to use to contact me. Um, so Matthew period Johnson, at wvm.eu, uh, EUD. You know what? Uh, make sure you spell my name right when you're using this. Matthew has two T's in it. Some people spell it with one T. Johnston has a T. It's not Johnson. Johnston. You have to spell it right to use it. By the way, at mission.mission.college.edu. It's the same. That's the same email address. If you prefer to use that, that's it is the same one. So you can do West Valley Mission, which is WVM or missioncollege.edu, it's the same email. Of course, you can also email me through Canvas, which uh, we're gonna be spending a whole lot of time on Canvas, so I'll, I'll definitely notice if you email me that way too. This one, goes, this one goes to my smartphone, you know, I'll get the notification that you emailed sooner, you know, or like right away, but you know, Canvas works fine. All right, grading, um, pretty simple, pretty simple here. Um, you got your, your participation points and with, you know, attendance. Participation points, that's 20%. Basically online participation means, it means discussions. Okay, there's discussion set, there's discussions under, uh, in Canvas and you have to participate in the discussions. And the more you participate, the more points you get of that 20%. 20% a significant amount of your grade. I mean, it's one fifth. So do not hesitate to participate as much as possible. All right. Um, all right, uh, I might say a few more words about that, um, but I will do that when I announce the discussions themselves. Now, written assignments, that is the bulk of the grade, is the essays. So there's three essays, they're, they're five pages long, or, and that's it, okay? Three, no, no tests, there's no tests, no quizzes, nothing, none of that. You, you just discuss, and then you write papers. That's how this goes. Um, by the way, that is by design, I mean, I'm not being lazy here. That's how philosophy is. Philosophy is people read stuff and they respond to stuff in writing, so it's all about reading and writing and philosophy. That's the whole subject matter. It has been for 2000 years. I'm just following, uh, you know, common sense on this. That's, that would be what you do. So you read the stuff and then you write a five page paper. There's three, one is on the theories, which I mentioned. One is on actually euthanasia, but it, you know, um, end of life issues. I know that's a little depressing, but you know. Um, and then one's on uh, environmental ethics, which is also maybe a little depressing too, but you know, hey, ethical theories, they don't deal with uh, rainbows and candies, you know. <laughs> it's, always, it's always something that's, uh, that's uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, would you prefer abortion or capital punishment? Those things are not a uh, necessarily thrilling either to discuss, even though they're more removed from your life. But I actually picked end of life issues and, and environmental issues because they do apply to your life. They're not, uh, I mean, 
there's something there, that those are topics that um, are universal, so they don't, uh, you know, um, and not not uh, geared towards specific people. Everybody has to deal with those, so that's why I picked them. All right, so you got three essays. They're going to be eighty percent of your grade. You got discussions, and you got and discuss the ethical issues. Twenty percent of your grade. That's it. That's all you do in this class. Okay, um, I'm not going to go through the rules and policy thing. All right, you should know these things. There. Um, the okay, add drop policy. Well, quickly, um, you're responsible for dropping the class. Um, if if you uh, stop coming, it's really hard to notice that online, by the way. So you should definitely drop the class. I might um, ask you whether you want to be dropped or even drop you if you don't respond, possibly. But you'd have to be gone for a while for that to, hap that to happen. Classroom conduct. Okay, in, in the discussions, I guess, yeah, try to avoid... Uh, making racial slurs and, uh, you know, be respectful, come on. Um, plagiarism is a big deal here. We will be using Turnitin um, to submit papers, which is a tool to, um, that um, detects plagiarism. Um, I even go beyond that sometimes. I, I'm really a stickler about this. Do not copy from the internet or or others, uh, I assume you all know, English 1A is a requirement for this class, so I assume you all know what plagiarism is. Don't do it, I'll bust you. I mean, um, it does happen. Uh, <laughs> I had a student last semester plagiarize, and I was like, God, really? But, you know, it, it happens, uh, and just don't do that, I'll catch you. Uh, all right disciplinary grievance policy, emergency procedures. You're sitting in your own house. I imagine you'll figure that out. Um, you can go to the, dis you, you should know that there's the disabled, um, uh, there's, there's um, support for disabled students. I give you information about that. Could be um, any kind of disability, but that includes learning disabilities. Um, there is assistance for housing and food insecurity. I don't know what's going on with COVID, but I think they're trying to keep that up somewhat. And you can find information about that. Um, so we're going to talk about ethical theories and then go on to euthanasia and environmental ethics. Period. All right. That's it. All right. Um, now. Um, Right. Um, where is everything? <laughs> okay. So if you're on Canvas, uh, let me go down the list here of what things are on Canvas and where they are. Um, home is whatever home. Announcements. Okay. Announcements is you have to pay attention to announcements. All right. I'm going every. Um, Every week or, or twice a week, or even maybe more often than that, I will post announcements and that's where, I, that's where I tell you what you're supposed to be reading and what you're supposed to be doing. So pay attention to the announcements. That's, that gives you the guidelines of what you're supposed to be doing at the time, you know. Uh, it, so definitely pay attention to announcements. Assignments is where I'll post the essays. Um, and I will do that. Uh, I'll try to do that quite in advance of assigning them, actually. I'll post them first, and then I'll assign them after I posted them a while. Discussions, like I said, that's where your participation points come. And 
I'll be setting those up and I'll, when I do the announcement, I'll tell you what discussion to do. Grades, I'm gonna put, I will input your grades for papers, but it won't, uh, I, um, I'm not gonna have the discussions grade. I, it, it's too complicated to set up all the, all the uh, percentages for the class and in that grade book in that thing. So I'm just, it, just think of that as being an approximate grade that you, you know, I'll tell you exactly, I, I will actually tell you what grade you got on all your essays, but, and if you forget, you can go back and get a general idea of where you are with your grades in, in, in Canvas, but I'm not gonna use that as the, the tool to figure out grades, I'm actually doing it on paper. You know, hey, I'm old, I'm old. that's the way, <laughs> I'm old and that thing's complicated, so we're gonna do it, uh, if, you know, at, at any point you could ask me how you're doing and I'll tell you your grade. The syllabus that I just went over uh, is right there. That's the one that, that's the screen that's up. Um, there are, you won't even see these in your student view. There's no outcomes and no quizzes. Modules is something though, because modules, I wonder if I can turn, I can't, let me know. Um, Oh, I for sorry, I'm screwed. Well, I'll do this first and I'll go back. All right, modules, all the readings. All the readings for the whole class are here, okay? So no textbook, they're all here. This is what you have to read for the class. They're all right here. That's all the readings. Got it? They're there, modules, okay? Um, I should have mentioned under assignments, there's also something else, and that is the lectures. Um, I didn't give a lot of lectures in this on all these things, but um, I do have lectures on, well, I, I, I actually lectured a little bit on the ethical theories more than the other things. But anyways, there's some lectures there. Um, and the other thing here is um, the reading assignments. I, I, I should point that out. Generally, if it's an article, and most of them are, you read the whole thing. However, there are some whole texts that are like, you know, I don't know, 300, 500 pages, they're long. Um, you don't have to read the whole text. So go under reading assignments and, fig and look at what, I, what parts of those texts I assign. Okay, that's where that is. And that'd be, uh, I think it starts with Hume. Um, and, and so, uh, Generally speaking, you read the whole thing, except for those cases where they're like whole books. I mean, of course, I had to download the whole book to get the thing online so that I didn't have a textbook, you know. All right. Uh, huh. Let's see. Well, I think that's a fairly straightforward explanation of where we're getting started from. Um, all right. Hey, good luck with the class. And I will... Watch the discussions, because that's where I'm going to be telling you what to do um, from week to week and day to day. And uh, if you have any questions, you can actually post one. Um, you can post a question here with this, right under this, this discussion that I'm, uh, or this announcement, sorry. Um, or, of course, you can email me, if you, if, either one. All right. Have a good semester.